we want, talk you want, further you want to talk about Star Citizen first, oh. and then we'll do Pokemon? Yeah, sure, dude. I'll rip into that. Because I'm curious, because I haven't reinstalled it in a very long time. Well, Star Citizen, the reason that I even hopped back into this game is because it recently passed its, what, $300 million? This week, they they hit a new milestone. Was it 250 or $300 million they hit, like, fundraising-wise? Let's see. They Which hit. Is absolutely nuts. $250 million 250 funding. Million. Yeah. In funding. Yeah. That's crazy. I think, I think they, they are the record for largest biggest funded game. Funded, yeah. Yeah. So I was like, let me hop into this game and uh like what are they doing? Yeah. What is happening? Because it's not the first time I played it. I played it God, I feel like a year or more ago when they first unified the experiences into one they, like Yeah, they UI, did like a three kind of. patch yep. for their thing. I remember hopping in too and yeah. playing with like for like ten minutes. I didn't Yeah, know. I had major issues the very first time that it all came together with frame rate and controls and, yep. and even the Same. experience and all Same. that shit. Um so I was like, all right, it's been a while. Let me just hop back in. I had to re-download the game from scratch because I, I wiped my computer since then. It's been a I mean, ton of time. I've uninstalled it. So, yeah. um, so as I'm as the game's installing, I'm like, I'm going to watch all of the uh, the tutorials because they have a whole like like six-part tutorial series on YouTube, like how to get started. So I knew what to do when I hopped in. It's like, you're going to start here, and then here's how you get your ship, and here's uh, how you fly around, basically, and here's what you want to do in the game. Here's like your gameplay loop. So I'm like, all right, cool. So is it I'm like ready now. now. I'm ready for this game. It's not cohesive yet, but it's it's almost there. There's like no why. They don't just drop you in the <clears> hangar and they're, you're like, go figure it out. Like they, they well, like I'll, the other I'll get to that in a second. Okay. Um, there's no cohesive like loop to the game. There's no why am I doing this situation sure. kind of thing. But you can play the game effectively right now. You can do things to earn things, to okay. get rewards, to to do whatever. Can you land on planets? Yeah. Oh, I did it. Oh, let me so let that's me, a game changer. Let me dude. tell you. Let me tell you. Let me so tell you. is it better than the other game that where you do that? What? No man's sky. No man's sky. No. Uh, Maybe depends on how and what you want to do in those games. The answer could be yes or or it could be no. Mm -hmm. um, but let me let me take you on this journey right here that I had. So I I downloaded the game, hopped into the game, immediately did not start where they said I was going to start. So I was like, this is fantastic. Good, this is perfect. Good, um, good impression. I was in the, the place they were describing. It's like a space station. And I'm like, I'm nowhere near there. I'm in a city. They put me in the city. Like, I'm in a giant fucking, like, it looked like I was in cyberpunk. I know what you're talking about. That, and, was, that was one of the separate modules. Yeah. So I remember that. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm in this giant city. And I'm like, I'm in an apartment building. And everything on the, in the apartment building is, like, pick up and examinable and it all it's, it's a little janky there's a little bit of frame rate issues it's a little sometimes it knocks into my character or the wall like in a, in in a, in a, in a collision yeah. problem and but otherwise i'm like damn there's a lot of detail it's pretty crazy so i go out of my apartment uh this is when i first see a giant window i'm like oh fuck this is not the space station this is a city i'm literally in like a cyberpunk city right anymore. now so i figure out like uh where the elevator is and everything in this game is so like like annoyingly real like you don't just like walk into the elevator opens up and you just up here where you need to go you can pick any any floor of the elevator you have to like press the button wait for it to call i think they're really like moving your models up and down because mm -hmm. i couldn't go in anyone else's building besides a room besides my own room gotcha i think everyone had were like, there other players yeah cool there are people running around it was very like like five frames per second on oh, their character no. models just kind of like skipping around oh no um but i think that's because of, of all the people that were playing because I found out, I found out something as I'm looking up, like where, like where the fuck am I? I'm like, how do I, where do I go? I want to like take off on this planet. Like, can I even? Am I in a module that is only the city? Like, am I, like, what am I allowed to do here? And someone goes, oh, they start you in the city right now because there's an event going on. There's a free fly event right now in the game. There's an event in a pre-release yes. build of the game. Yes, okay. that you do not need to pay money to them to play. It is legitimately free. I sure hope so. Yeah. <laughs> well, you could be like free to the minimum backers, you know, like just oh, getting like God. a lot. Of, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's totally free to gamers. I think, um, unfortunately, the, the people that listen to this on podcast, it's going to be done by tomorrow. But I think it's it's okay. even live right now. You can fly every single one of the ship designs they have in the game. Every single oh, one. Oh shit! Every single one. Now you got to understand, Felix. The special thing about this game is it's not just like No Man's Sky. You got your individual ship. You can like when you buy the game or when you bought in, you bought the You're ship. You're buying. Yeah something you're buying an actual thing for yourself you're buying your ship right and you picked it out through a catalog when, and you, when you purchased your, you have your to ticket like to get in the essentially game. take care of this this is your okay. real air quotes real virtual some ship. of the and ships, everyone has one yes but some of the ships can be multi-manned think like 
minimum Star Trek, Millennium Falcon. You have someone in the cockpit in the gunner seat. Oh, your friends um, could be in there as you drive around. You that can kind have of thing. you can all you can have a full crew. And some of these ships get massive. <laughs> like they're they scale pretty large. I have a little grasshopper ship. I don't even know what mine. Really so the Mustang, is. maybe. It's I I liked I picked that one because there's like a sleeping compartment yeah. in it you can go into, and then you go out, and then there's the uh, the uh, the type to sleep in the game. Yeah, well, you can. That's how you log out if you're not in your home. But you right. don't like. If you have a ship with a bunk, you can log out anywhere. But you need to have but, a bed. But you don't lose like health or nope. whatever if you don't sleep. Nope. Um. So I figured out like, oh, I'm on this. I'm on this module thing. I'm on this this uh this event. That's why I'm in the city. This is the ship you bought. No, that is not the ship I bought. Are you sure? But I do. I have seen that ship. This one has a has a cargo hangar and a bunk bed and it's a flying area. Let's see if I can find it for you. You find it. I'll, I'll keep talking. Yeah, about keep talking. Thing. So. I'm like, cool, let me run around the city and explore. So I'm running around, and there's all these cool, like, futuristic advertisements. Like, there's, like, a soda ad that actually is making bubbles pop around you Ooh. as you run. Like, Cyber, very cool future, dude. like, imagining, which is right up my fucking alley, dude. That's my, that's my fucking jam. And I'm like, all right, if I – so I ran around for, like, 30 minutes. And I'm like, if I were on this planet and I wanted to get off into the sky – I would need to go to like the airport or a spaceport or, a hangar. or something, right? Like, how am I going to get to that spaceport? Um, so I ran around and I found, uh, I found the transit system in the city. I get on the, uh, I don't know what you would call it. It's not a subway, like the L, the, the space L, and like okay. it literally took me away from the city center. And I'm like, flying through the planet is always like crappy, but physically present, like uh, skyscraper models and city models, and I'm, I'm cruising through the. This is mine. Oh, yep. Yep, the Aurora MR. The Aurora. It's, yeah, or it's one of these. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I end up at the uh, at the airport. Oh. The airport of, of the planet that I'm on, or the area of the planet that I'm on, because the planet is, is gigantic. Now, did, on, when you're on this L yeah. uh, train, um, did it look like, could you look outside and yeah, see if I was it was fully, I was a fully watching, realized planet? I was watching it all kind of disappear and appear. Were there players moving around outside it, or is it no. that detailed? Okay, so it, imagine like Coruscant is kind of what this planet looks like. Cool. To not Star Wars people, that's a city planet. No trees, nothing, just all buildings. Um, and the planet's a bunch of sectors, and the sectors are all like no-fly zoned, mm -hmm. except where you're allowed to land. And I think at this point in development, they only have Sector 18 available. So you have to aim for that when you're flying. You have to land there. You have to request clearance, both for takeoff and for landing, mm -hmm. from there, or else if you fly into the no-fly zone, you'll just get, you get shot. exploded, and you got to pay mm -hmm. for your ship to get respawned. Um, so I think eventually their vision might be to like be able to go anywhere on the planet, and you'll just report to that sector that you're landing on. Right. But right now, Sector 18 is all you can really kind of like interact with, even though there's a lot of other things there. If you fly around the planet, because I was on the wrong side of the planet when I was trying to come back after a little adventure. Your ship was. On it was like the other side of the planet. Like I had to go on the other side to land because I was on like sector eleven. Because gotcha. I just flew there blind-ish, kind of. Okay. Okay. So I'm flying in my in my ship. I get off the planet. I zoom into space. Um, takes me forever. It's very like realistic, right? You have to go, like lift your your plane off and fly yeah, into space and, then and close your you landing to, gear and then all that. You have to stuff. clear the atmosphere so you can use their like pulse drive or whatever they call it. And I'm like, well, all right, let me do something really, really, really basic to try to understand the workflow of this game. I was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna clean up toxic waste. Okay. I found this in my like little hologram mission selector. It's like you don't have to worry about pirates. You don't have to do anything crazy. You don't have to like dogfight. Just like we need people to take out the trash. Essentially, so I'm like, oh cool, I'll just go and. And find the shit and figure out how it works. So I follow the waypoints, warp to like the closest moon that has an outpost, and I walk in there. The guys, you know, there's a guy like at a computer desk, he's bored as shit. I pick up like this toxic waste box that's sloshing around. I take it back to my uh, my ship, which I'm at this point driving the Mustang. Is this entirely in first person when you're yeah. picking things up? You can you can play in third. Though. You can pay, yeah. play in third. Um, I'm gonna pick up bring a picture of this ship that I'm flying so I can really illustrate this point to you guys. Is that your drone? This is, I have actually, I have the one that was previously, I have this one and I have yours. I have three. How'd you get three? I don't know, but I didn't pay more than 60, I promise. I think I spent just flatline 60 bucks. It might have been in a special that might have been when I scooped I it. You might have more than you think you have. Oh, I have a don't. I think I should reinstall this game. And you shouldn't. You should around. check it out, dude. Yeah. But this is my ship design, the Mustang, right? Yeah. The problem with the Mustang. Uh, very tiny. It's very tiny. And it has no, a. No cargo. Well, it has a little cargo door that flips out of the bottom and, like, almost like on a little, like, uh, support system. Yeah. It pops out and slides out. But the developers haven't implemented interaction 
right specifically on this ship so felix a lot of these ships are like imagine like you're in firefly or something and you know you gotta you gotta hit the the docking door and you gotta hit the button to open the dock Mm -hmm. all that shit's like in this game you don't just walk up to your ship hit a button you're in your ship you have to like open the bay doors you have to walk up close the bay doors you have to make sure everything's all the very first time that i flew like a like a year or more ago you left your door open didn't you no i sucked myself out i hit the eject button (laughs) (laughs) and just like literally like i i died i lost my ship i had to pay for my ship because i got recovered you were I was like, I don't stuck I in don't. space. Or yeah, something? and that can happen. You don't die right away. I think you're in a spacesuit. Yeah, which I think you can open and yeah. close the visor too. It's like there's a whole kind thing. of panic inducing a little bit when yeah. that happens. Anyway, this is the ship that I brought. I couldn't put the fucking. You didn't come prepared, man. I, you took the wrong. I was the trying wrong to trying to sell it. You can't sell it unless it's in the cargo area of your ship. It's very like, I'm very janky to try and get shit done. Um, but I was looking online. I'm like, how do I get this done with the Mustang? People were showing like clips of how they threw the box behind the ship like behind where you sit okay and then kind of like try to fly with that and take it out on another planet yeah, there's no co-pilot in there right no it's just a single person okay. um i tried to do that it kept clipping out of my ship it wouldn't stay in there so i'm like all right fuck this i'm gonna put these boxes down on this planet fly back to the planet swap to a bigger ship mm-hmm. and come back and get this goddamn toxic waste and then sell it because i'm going to bring back a ship that's going to have a cargo area and then it's going to know it's in my inventory and i'm going to be able to sell it did that whole thing flew back to the planet. That's why I ended up on the wrong side because I like flew back to the, the okay. city planet. Yeah. Then figured out how to get back to the right side. Flew in the hangar, ran out of the spaceport. You know, got my other ship delivered to another thing. Went up to the right hangar and flew that ship. Learned how to fly that one because they're all different. They all handle differently and the cockpits are all different. Flew back to the planet, landed right where my boxes were. Picked them up, put them on my ship. Felt great about it. Felt great. Went to the uh, little little transit, the little sail terminal. Okay. It doesn't recognize that I have anything in my inventory. So I can't sell the toxic waste still. How do you... It's a buggy game. I think that mission specifically also doesn't really entirely work. Okay. So well, there's I... like... Yeah, yeah. It, they still call this an alpha. Oh, I... It... Right? And it definitely feels like it. They're not connected experiences. Um, but the overall vibe was really exciting. That sounds cool. To me. As someone who's already just a baseline well, fan of space, but I can see but the can, potential. You can see the vision of that what's they're going here. For, yeah. 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 Um, certain things are, are are in place and work really well, like uh, you know, gravity on different locations. Um, the the game looks gorgeous, actually, from certain perspectives. Like there's some jankiness a little bit, but like when you're flying into a planet, it's really gorgeous, especially light off of a planet, like from the sun, like whatever planet you're some near. Nice lens flare, um, some nice uh, yeah, yeah. atmosphere. Dust Entering. on your yeah. screen and shit like that. Um, yeah, landing, going all the way down to the surface is great. Surface to to space is amazing as well. Like the systems there are really in depth, um, but the dots have to be connected. The smoothness has to be kind of ironed out. Gotcha. And there's so much that they want to do. It's I mean, ever since it came out, we knew the game was like too really ambitious, ambitious, right? Yeah. So <laughs> the only way this is gonna work is if they, I mean, <coughs> kind of keep. Not taking money, but, like, as people get this game, like, rolling with this development cycle, you know? Yeah. And, like, not really planning anything. Like, I wouldn't even call this a release if I were them. I would, like, aim to have the game be fully playable with, like, a baseline set of things to do, right? Like a like a single-player campaign, then maybe some other little, like, end-game grinds. But then after that, just keep adding. Just keep adding to things and, and see what players want. And... How long has this been in development? God. When did, when did they announce this? 2015? No. Or tw- it's either 15 or 12, or earlier than that. 14? We already 20, have... The first alpha component was released in 2013. So it was 2012. That's when they announced the game and said, <clears> we're <throat> making this game? Yeah. The hangar module. Yeah, that was the first <coughs> one. That was in 2013. Wow, this is probably always going to be a PC game, right? Oh, for sure. There's no way this could run on for a sure. console. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, my, my, they don't have plans. My overly optimistic self is that all the work they poured into this, and like all the ways they built this game, um, this is probably not the right term because I'm not a game developer. But uh, in my mind, they're building this game laterally, or horizontally, maybe a better word, because like they're doing a lot in an unfinished way. Yeah. Instead of doing like a lot of things in a linear fashion, where they make right. sure they they have this asset, this asset, I this mean, asset that all works together. They are literally developing it in front of. Their audience, essentially. Yeah, and and none of like more than half of the stuff wasn't a listed feature of the game. Like as I was playing this, I went back to look at their like their goal 
like their goal listing and the rewards they had listed as they were hitting different monetary goals. Mm -hmm. And they were really ambitious, like insanely ambitious. Like we're talking like from a $500,000 goal to a million dollar goal. They were like, we're going to add 50 ships and like all of this shit. Right. As you get down, down the list where it's like, you know, 36 million to 37 million. It's like, here's a new backpack design, you know, like then they realized, Oh shit, this takes like a lot of time. And we need server space. We got to pay for the power. We got to pay these developers. Like, I think it all hit them once they really knew what they were like getting into. According to some sources, they had to make two shell companies to hoard all the money. I mean, you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> yeah. Whatever works financially, right? And apparently, they changed engines after the Crytek lawsuit because they were using the Cry engine. Well, I cannot confirm what, or deny this. Whatever so. works. Yeah, whatever works. And it it seems to be working. Barely worked. Yeah, it was way more encouraging than I thought it was going to be. So, I'm stoked, and I'm gonna hop back in and try to actually get this shit, you know. So is in there? Because I remember we tried well, playing. Myself, did we try but... playing together at one point? Did we? Did... Mm. That might have been like the the tenth thing to do down the road, but because we, we were like gonna install and see if it works, and then hop in together yeah. to do something. Um, we never did. Well, that was even more janky at that point. That was when I lost myself in space. Yeah, I remember I had one experience where I ended up. Joining on one of like one of their servers, you get thrown in like that hangar, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and one of the people who were who was on, or there was a group of people on the hangar, and mm-hmm. they were using one of those multi-person large ships. And I was like, I want to fucking join them. Yeah. and See what's up. And I yeah, walked yeah. on, and I was like, Hello, and can I man your map yeah. station console or whatever your yeah. navigation? And yeah, we flew around for a while. And like it was it was janky. People oh, were like sure. clipping around and, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. It was weird, but. Like, Were they talking to you through a headset or through chat? Typing. Typing, typing chat. There's a, yeah, there's a global yeah. chat that you can be a part of. And, the, and dude, everyone in there is so positive. Well, they're all trying, to, they're all trying to figure it out, right? They're all trying it's to – It's so like, helpful, go, positive. People, yeah. I mean, want to be there. They want this game to succeed. So it's a really cool environment to be a part of. Everyone is literally pioneering in a game about being a space pioneer and kind of yeah. carving out your own like, <laughs> area of the galaxy. You know, It's pretty nuts. Um, but, yeah, I mean, at, at, at a bare minimum right now, the game's modules are connected. They're playable. You can do missions to earn credits to like buy yourself different things. You could buy yourself ships, guns, equipment. Uh, and do they stay on your account as clothing? Account? Like, yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. And then now to now just to tell you, Felix, they also planned a campaign mode for this as well, um, called Squadron Forty Two. Yep. And this is starring names such as Mark Hamill and Gary Oldman. And, yeah, and it's got like a bunch that. of like big names in it um, that are I don't even know I don't know if I have this in front of me with this information, but okay, Squadron Forty Two, um, Gary Oldman, Mark Hamill, Jillian Anderson, Mark Strong, Lil- Lilum. You hear these names? Lilum Cunningham, heard, who yeah. is the uh, the Onion Knight from Game of Thrones, um, and Andy Serkis are all in the the, the biggest twenty pe- hour campaign. Biggest, some of the biggest names in sci-fi. Now I think you have to buy that separately. Still, well. When I bought it, it said it included the ship and Squadron Forty Two, and like oh. at the time, like like it, it said what you were buying. Then I okay, then, um, then I'm, I'm going to sure. because we bought the same I thing. I know. I gotta I gotta check my account because I I don't I don't keep up with this. But RobertSpaceIndustries.com, lock in. <laughs> let's see, let's see, autofill me, baby. Um, but anyway, I had to reset my password for sure the oh, other day. I always had problems locking yeah. every time I reinstall this thing. <laughs> Look, here you go. Here's Mark Hamill. There you go. But he like. He's one of the main characters. Okay. It's supposed to be a continuation of Wing Commander, dude, because the guy made Wing Commander back in the day. Oh, is that yeah. what it was? Pretty cool, huh? Never um, played Wing Commander. I heard people like it. If this was developed in a vacuum and then, like, hit, fully developed, people like, would be going nuts. It would be, like, probably the most talked about game of people all time. People find it so easy to, like, like. like rag on because... I mean, we're, we're watching development we're, in such yeah. a transparent way. I and, think it's... And, like, people are, like, laughing because, like, and I get it. Like, well, they t- they've taken $250 million... Yeah, but didn't like GTA cost that much money? I don't know. I don't know. That might be how much they make though, because they're making lots of money. Hold on, let me look this up. Because like, that's a that's development cost. That's a that's a film. That's yeah. that's a a triple A game. He said he said he wanted to make the best thing he could, you know. And I mean that that is a very high scope of a game to like, yeah. you know, try. Two hundred sixty five million to develop and market GTA five. Okay. The only difference is that we've. It's been an open book with Roberts. Right, exactly. Right? It's been an open book right. with Star Citizen. We, yeah. We're literally watching. We we're literally just staring at the sands of time. Yeah. Tr- yeah there's no, it's it's, it's, it's so easy as someone not part of that, to that process to, yeah, yeah. to 
pick and choose individual things and just and, and make a joke out of it. But yeah. like at the end of the day, based on the fact that it's coming together, I think it's going to be successful. It's going to at least be a fun product yeah. that's going to challenge the way it, you play a space game. I think it's going to avoid the No Man's Sky criticism only because we've seen it from so the transparent, beginning. right? You're exactly. Because right? like No Man's Sky, they told us things, released it. Yeah. Some of those things this, weren't real, and then they went silent, right? They, they yeah. can't do that. Yeah, exactly. I mean, at yeah. the heart of it, uh, Star Citizen, at least besides the the single player campaign, seems to be a mix of No Man's Sky and Sea of Thieves in terms of like what you do freedom in the game, freedom and, exploration, yeah. mission repetitiveness, the loops of that, um, and in a very immersive setting. Yeah. Imagine if they add VR to that. They, there is. It's it's supported. Oh, oh God, I need to get a headset. Oh, now, oh well, God, I'm now freaking. I, I can't speak to how well it's implemented, but sure. but those systems are all because in place. Because I bought yeah. a Hotas specifically for this game. And yeah. then I and then I bought Elite Dangerous because I wanted something to play with it. Right. Elite Dangerous didn't do it for me, unfortunately. Yeah, it's it, this is same. very much like Elite Dangerous, but yeah. obviously you can get out of your ship. But I wanted and be like a, I wanted like a flight game, like I wanted a space yeah. f flight yeah. game. So. I did, dude. I did the same thing. Yeah. As soon as I bought a, bought a VR headset, Elite Dangerous. Elite Dangerous. And then every <laughs> this is my experience with, with Elite Dangerous, right? Yeah. I don't play it for a fucking year. I sit down, spend an hour trying to remember how to fucking do anything, put it down, wait a year, <laughs> do it all again, reinstall it. Spend an hour trying to figure the fuck out. Every time Stare I, around in VR like, oh, just fucking every cool time looking. But then I, like, I don't know. Ah, ah, where am I going to fucking Every time fly? I try fly. and play Elite Dangerous again, it's literally f like three hours Retract of going. Retract hard points before warping. How, how, do, I, how the how fuck do I do, I do, I do, do this? <laughs> yeah, I have no, dude, no fucking every clue. Every time. No fucking clue.